Hey, it's Mr. Mice Guy here, and today we're going to talk about my wild mouse hybrids. So let's get started. So here they are. Some of them are. These mice are 50% wild. They are the fifth generation, I believe. So their parents were both 50% wild, and their grandparents were both 50% wild, and their great grandparents. Uh, we're 50% wild um, and basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get mice that are really tiny like wild mice but have uh, domestic traits like coat color and temperament um, but retain that wild mouse small size and so these guys are 50% wild they do have some domestic coloring these are maybe a silver color or a dove color so they have the uh, the pink eye gene and these guys have the pink eye gene but they also have one copy of the agouti gene making them Ar argenti I believe it's pronounced uh, yeah and they are they are pretty wild these guys will be difficult to handle when they mature uh, something else to kind of point out here is that uh, some of them are actually satin as well. My uh, wild mouse hybrid line has satin genes, so you can tell this one's kind of kind of shiny. Uh, and actually, a couple of them are kind of shiny. I think this one, this one here is. Like this guy is. Um, these guys might also be angora. So you can see that shine, kind of like a like a mm, copper penny or something. Uh, very shiny. It's hard to capture uh, the satin sheen on mice. Um, before I started filming, these guys were running around wild. <laughs> Doesn't look like they move much right now, but man, can these guys move. Um, generally domestic mice at this age wouldn't move that much but these guys they're like fully mobile um, and so it won't be long before I can't really hold them and videotape them so I'm glad I'm getting this footage now so these guys are 50% wild but let's take a peek at some 75% wild mice so these mice were born from a pairing between a father that was 50% wild and a mother that is 100% wild but captive born. And to me, they look kind of like little buffaloes or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they look like. They're cute though. And these guys are going to be monsters when they grow up. Um, let's see if we can get some better footage here. There we go. Very nice. But I was so excited when these were born because I thought that my wild mouse line was infertile because they hadn't produced any pups in a while. And so when I got these guys and that they're 75%, I was so excited. In particular, one of them, I think, it's hard to tell which one it is now. I think it might be this guy. He's, he's tinier than the rest. So he's going to be a good candidate for making that really tiny line of hybrid mice. Um, these guys are all going to be a goody, so they're going to look like wild mice, and because they're 75%, they are probably going to behave like wild mice, and they're going to be very, very difficult to handle. Um, but hopefully their children will have some domestic traits. They will have the pink eyes, maybe silver uh, coats, maybe angora coats. Um, but will be really tiny like wild mice. So hopefully in a generation or two I should have some mice that look domestic um, as far as the coat type but will be really really tiny. So stay tuned. So I'll definitely be getting some footage of those <laughs> if, if and when I get them. Get him out of the way. These guys are actually doing really well. They're, they put in a lo lot of weight um, I'm very happy. Very nice.
Thank you for watching.